shall we shag now or shag later? What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today, I'm showing you a max effort upper body workout. And I've entered what I would call the strength phase. So I'm using a lot of principles that I have laid out in my strength phase ebook of the conjugate method. Uh, if you'd like that, there's a link in the description of this video that you can click on. It'll bring you there. Just look for strength phase. Uh, so I'm working up to a three rep max. And uh, that's about 55 pounds of chain at the top. So right here, we got about like, what's that? 260, 270 at the top, if I did the math correctly. Uh, this is my top set for three. So we got about... No, this would be two. No, this is like 280 at the top. Now, there's something about having chains that just makes it feel harder. But what I like about it, it gives yourself a break off the chest and exposes you to heavier weights throughout the range of motion. It's almost like the same rationale I've talked about with why I'm digging Hatfield squats lately. And there, that's 300 pounds at the top, which clearly I can't incline bench, but you know what, the, I, if I do recall correctly, the rest between that, the final triple and the one at max should have been longer. It was like uh, an impulse single. So I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I got a nice grind. I know my tricep strength needs to be brought up when it comes to pressing. So there's going to be a lot of chains, a lot of bands, a lot of curl scoop stuff, a lot of weighted dips. Then I did two drop down sets with the incline bench, two sets of six, with 185 plus the same amount of chain. Now I got to weigh my freaking dumbbells because there's no fucking way that this was only five pounds heavier than last week. I have a feeling it was 10 pounds heavier. I have a feeling these are 80s. I wrote it in there, but I have a feeling these are 80s because what I didn't take into account, what it's 67.5 pounds of weight on the dumbbell. I didn't take into account the handle and the two screw-in collars, which I think weigh about a pound and a quarter each. I'm going to have to double check. I'll get, I'll, I'll, I am actually going to review those badass dumbbells. That's the brand. I'm not calling them badass dumbbells. Then I did two sets of rows, 225 for eight from a deficit, which is a great way to row. I don't give a shit what anyone says about this upright nonsense. I like rowing super bent over. 275 for six. I'm definitely reintroducing barbell rows into my program. I haven't done them for a while and I'm going to get more proficient. I'm going to get the reps up, the weight up, and I'm just going to get my back more jacked. That's all there is to it. And speaking of jack back, the pullovers. These pullovers hit the lats. Great for shoulder mobility, your overhead mobility. They're a great lift. It's like an old school exercise that no one does anymore. They think you can replace it with some cable bullshit. It just doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel the same at all. I'm not going to lie. It's much more challenging. Think of this as a deadlift for your lats. That's what I'm going to say. Think of this as a deadlift for your lats. Because I like resetting the weight all the way on the floor. Now that I think about it, when I've used 45 pound plates, I don't think I've ever not touched the floor just due to the range of motion. Then the last part of the workout, this is fairly brisk, three sets of 25. Uh, these are just seated tricep pushdowns, I guess, if you want to call them. Just, you know, finish up the workout, pump up the arms, all that good stuff. But I like the angle here. As you could see, I'm slightly being pulled forward and it just gives a totally different feel than if I were to be standing. It's not a huge change, but it's enough for to make me say that, you know what, I prefer to do this instead. It's not that much of a change in setup. It's not like it takes more time investment or something like that. Then I really need to start strengthening up my wrists. I feel some wrist pain in my right wrist, and I just want to get stronger forearm, stronger grip in general. So these are called gunslinger curls two sets of 15 of each of them and the weight is well out in front of you and that's why you have to have a really tight grip on the implement so that it doesn't sag you don't want sagging wrists and then I ended with two sets of 20 of Lou raises as I said in a previous vlog I'm gonna just start doing these with dumbbells I don't give a shit if there's more benefits with plates I don't have the amount of plate jumps I need 
So I'm, I'll basically be going from a 10 to a 25, and that's not enough progression for me. So there's the breakdown of the workout, and as always, have yourself a great day, ladies and gentlemen.